otitis media. Its symptoms are ear pain, bulging, swelling, and red tympanic membrane. It is related with upper respiratory tract infection pathogens and sometimes includes mild fever. It is very common among young children, and 60 to 80 percent of children got otitis media. It is so bulging that we cannot even see the ear canal, and the acute onset of signs and symptoms are related and patients are feeling uncomfortable. The reason why otitis media is more common in children is that because children have much shorter lengths of eustachian tube and it is in their horizontal ear anatomy. As you can see, the pathogens are related with upper respiratory tract infection such as streptococcus pneumonia, H. influenza, varicella catahalis, and staphylococcus aureus and streptococcus pyogens are lesser. They are entering the middle ear through the eustachian tube from URTI. For the antibiotics, we don't really recommend using antibiotics. Uh, we just use it to the red flag children who are very serious. For example, the infants under 6 months years old, children under 2 years old with bilateral infection, children with otoria or systemic symptoms such as fever, lethargic, pale, or irritable, children who are immunosuppressed. So it is only for the red flag children we discharge. For the first line, we discharge amoxicillin for five days. Or if not, then amoxicillin plus clavulanic acid. However, the children, if they have a delayed non-severe penicillin allergy, we dispense cefiroxim for five days. If the allergy is immediate and severe, we give trimesoprime plus sulfamethoxazole. Um, the brand name is Bactrim or Cotrimoxazole. So parents might want their baby to get antibiotics. However, a fever alone is not the indication for giving antibiotic. So you should tell parents well. Also, oral antibiotics has limited benefit for other children who are not severe, so only 5 out of 100 become okay. Initial antibiotic therapy for otitis media is not solution for pain in 24 hours, but it has some possibilities of causing harms such as diarrhea, rash, allergy, or bacterial resistance. So for example, 3-year-old baby with single ear infection, shall we give him or her the antibiotics? No, they should not get the antibiotics because, um, yeah, they don't follow the guideline. So for the risk factor of otitis media, so group child care, such as crowded housing, allergic rhinitis, adenoid disease, various face structural anomalies, such as cleft palate or Down syndrome, or smoking parents are the risk factors of otitis media. Can vaccines reduce the frequency? Yes, flu vaccines can reduce the otitis media. Also, pneumonia vaccine helps too. Make sure the three-year-old baby gets the flu shot. Check the upper respiratory infection. Washing hands, keeping clean, staying healthy, eating right, sleeping well can also reduce upper respiratory infection and otitis media.